You don't talk to a baby as you would in an adult way. You, you talk baby talk, it's sing-songy. When you think about when you're first born, when a baby's born, uh, the first thing they do is get an art lesson because the mother and the father are basically singing to the baby. Mike Masterson's philosophy of music goes far beyond that of a typical musician. Raised on a farm in Indiana, his love of music started early. When I got a trombone in the fifth grade, my mother still talks about me, you know, walking around the house with my trombone or outside. I think she threw me outside. After completing his master's degree in 1977, he moved to Powell, Wyoming, where he shared his love of music with the students and faculty of Northwest College for 33 years. Uh, teaching, he, he worked with the students real well collaboratively. So he was always encouraging students to look for those deeper meanings and to, to seek out the things in music that maybe meant a little bit more. In 1990, Mike was able to share his ideas about the connection between music, culture, and history in a very unique way. He did uh, his dissertation on, on the Buffalo Bill Band for his doctorate and it's it's incredible the work that was involved in that the research the buffalo bill band played music from 1882 through 1916 accompanying buffalo bill cody's wild west show after five years of research at the Buffalo Bill Museum and the Circus World Museum in Wisconsin, this farm boy from Indiana was able to bring back a segment of American history in a way that only a true musician can. <laughs> able to take that music which was all but lost to us and to resurrect it, uh, find those arrangements, find the musicians, record it and get it out there where people can actually hear that music now. That was an incredible service to not only the state of Wyoming but to Americans in general. Music provides a really fine model for the way a world ought to work, the way a society can work. You know, there, you're always needing to work together on things and you get a chance to be a solo for a little bit and, and, and make something happen in your work, but you always have to harmonize your goals. Um, I, I use that metaphor all the time in everything that I do. Mike Masterson, recipient of a 2010 Governor's Arts